All right, I'm Beck Lane, and this is Catalyst and Company. Catalyst and Company, where we're catalysts in each other's lives as well as our own, and we work at being the artists we've always wanted to be, or we be the artists we've always wanted to be. Behind me is um, my painting, Queen. And Queen was painted last year, just in case you don't know. Queen was painted last year. The reference material for this was taken at an African-American or African ceremony that was held at the Rhode Island School of Design Museum in one of their great halls. And the model for this, or the woman that was featured in this reference material is Jessica Brown. Jessica Brown is an activist. She's, oh my God, she's so funny. She she does all kinds of things within, uh, uh, within all kinds of events, sorry, in Providence, Rhode Island, but she's a Rhode Island School of Design professor. She's actually really well known and very popular and a friend of mine. And she allowed me to use this reference material from this ceremony. So I pulled, although I did it last year and I have photographed her and I've done videos about it and da ba da I pulled her out again this morning because as I've been talking about lately, I've been doing a lot of reels on reels and shorts and highlights on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And I'm going to talk about it again because the tr it's um, if you're not doing these, if you haven't figured out, if you haven't figured out how to do reels, shorts, and highlights, figure it out. Because I'm watching, as I, over the past few weeks, three or four weeks I've been doing this, I've been watching my traffic grow. Not only my traffic grow, but my subscribers and followers. And, and people are, new people are starting to interact with me. So it's really beneficial to do this. It is a very time consuming and sometimes frustrating thing to do, project to take on every day. But I will do uh, three or four reels a day, depending on the day of the week leading up to the weekend, three or four reels a day and post them in all these different places so that um, I can get more traffic and we do have more of a possibility for sales, which is what it, the ultimate goal here. We want sales, we want consistent sales. So I'm using reels as a form of advertisement where, um, you know, I give, a, I have a particular tone for the video, particular rhythms for the video, and I am ending each one the same way or almost the same way with certain images. There's an image of me holding a coffee cup that I took six years ago in my uh, apartment in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. It's me holding up a Utrecht coffee cup that a friend had given me. Then the next one, oh no, first it's the, okay, well, this is so silly. This is so ridiculous. Uh, I had drawn, I had taken a piece of poster paper about three or four years ago and written Blue Egg Galleries, Blue Egg Gallery and, and Jay's phone number at Blue Egg and Chasen Galleries and written the phone number there. And I cr screwed up Chasen. Um, I wrote Chase Galleries. So I had to draw in the end with a little black marker. It, it really looks like a high school project. But I, man, I photographed it for some reason and hung on to it. And that's what I've been using in my videos now. So that they don't feel like an attempt to be overly finished. They're comfortable. They, they feel like this, where it's just people-y. It's people-y human stuff going on where there's mistakes and it's okay. So I... In the at the end of each reel, at the end of each reel highlight story, there's the picture of this poster with uh, also one of my postcards in the corner of um, it's the one of Mahitable, the tattooed lady in, is in the corner. The next one is me holding up my coffee cup from Mutrex in my Pawtucket apartment, and then the last one is an image I made for I think it was for T Public where I've got a painting of Frida Kahlo in the second, in the center of it. And then there's me leaning on two paintings of Yeyo Kusama. So they're kind of homey. They're a little awkward. They're not precise and professional. They feel like a human being made them, a human being that makes boo-boos made them. But I'm using that as my signature. 
as well as pulling out music that I happen to really like. Today I pulled out uh, US 3's Cantaloupe, um, or Flip Fantasia, most people know it as, and I used it with images and photos I took of Queen today, Queen and me and um, all these different live action pictures that I took. And I'm telling you all this because I want you to hear it. If you're an artist and you're struggling and you don't know how to reach the outer, out the outside world, you know, out of, out of, out of where you are, this is a great way to reach people. I posted that video of Queen on Instagram and Instagram stories. I'm sorry to keep repeating the same things over, but I posted it on, actually just posted it on Instagram. And then I think I posted it on Facebook and then I put it, I think I put in a story in one of them. Anyway, then I took it, converted it over to YouTube. The soundtrack I wanted to use, the exact same soundtrack wasn't available through YouTube, the one I had used on Instagram and Facebook. So I had to choose another version of the song, one that they had available on YouTube, but I got them to match up pretty well, uploaded it, uh, wrote the description in, hashtag, did all the stuff that I'm supposed to do in the description to make it, you know, connect with other people. And w really within five minutes of me having that all done, I had about 500, and f I think it was 515 views. It was within five minutes. And that's why I'm saying, I keep suggesting these reels and pushing these reels because they're such an important tool to have. They're so important to us. We can get our message out there. We can get our artwork out there with or without the help of our galleries or reps or whatever, or even if we don't have them, we can do it. We can do it on our own. We don't need anybody else. It's just an investment in time and learning. And I swear to you, I was talking to someone new the other day who was like, well, my son does this, but I don't know how. And uh, actually it was um, a singer I like. I was talking to his mom or it's, um, but anyway, I was talking to their, it's a band, but I was talking to the mother of the bandmates and uh, I said, you can do this and you can do it really well. It's just going to take time to figure it out. All the information is out there. You want to learn how to make reels. It's on YouTube. I'm not going to show you because me and it would be ridiculous. All of the information is out there. There's all kinds of YouTube videos about how to do this stuff. And it really is easy. Once you get in the habit of it, it won't take six hours like it did. The, well, okay took six hours to photograph her. It won't take an hour to three hours, which it took me in the beginning. Okay, let's try that again. It won't take the hour to three hours that it took me in the beginning to get it right. Once you have the photographs, the information that you want to post um, along with the audio, it's really a matter of maybe 15 minutes at most at this point with me because I've been doing it and doing it and doing it. Practice, 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 just like with painting or any other form of art that we do. It's just practice, practice, practice. And before you know it, it's poopity, poopity, poop. It's all done. Your name is out there and hundreds of people have seen it. I have a couple videos that have not, I mean, they're not huge. They're not, I'm not getting millions of views, but I've got thousands. Uh, yesterday, I had over, th over 3,000 people see my work. That's 3,000 new set of, sets of eyes that have seen my work. And already today I've had over 2,000. So it, it's growing, it's beneficial. I strongly suggest um, that if you're an artist and you're really struggling, this, is, this could be the way to go. I'm just bound and determined. I'm gonna get my artwork out there and get things sold. I found out this morning that, uh, you know, Jerry Saltz, the New York Magazine uh, art critic, Jerry Saltz, is coming to town in uh, a few days. He's actually gonna be right up the street. Um, <laughs> I don't have the money. So I, and I don't have the money for a million other things, but instead of sitting around and being really sad that, you know, 
my phone bill's due and I have no idea how I'm going to pay it or I'm out of food and I have no idea how I'm going to get some. I'm putting my energy into the reels, energy into the stories, energy into the highlights so that we have a better chance of selling, of becoming the artists we've always wanted to be, at reaching the successes we, me, I have always wanted. We're going to get there. Friggin' Jerry Saltz. It's literally going to be right up the street from me. Jerry Saltz. I want to meet this guy in the worst way. I need to meet him. We've been going back and forth on Twitter and Instagram, mainly on Instagram, chatting back and forth, making jokes back and forth uh, for several years. And he's actually retreated, re re retweeted uh, some of my work, which was very kind. Um, but he retweeted some of my work. I want to go, I really want to go in there, meet him and give him one of my portfolio brochures. So we just keep doing everything we can to keep this trade moving in the direction where we have the success and getting a friggin' ticket to meet someone who could change my life isn't going to be a major issue. We just keep doing it. Oh, and by the way, I'm doing a lot of the reels and stories and things around the 10 year anniversary of this YouTube channel. Uh, the 16th of January will be the 10 year anniversary. And although I've really been focused on it for the last 12 in a very concentrated way, I'm kind of taking this 10 year mark a little bit more seriously. And I've started to make reels about work um, done each of the 10 years so we can watch them progress and get my stuff seen. Anyway, that's it. Oh, all right, I'm Beck Lane. This is Catalyst and Company. This is Queen, but this is Catalyst and Company. If you'd like to help support Catalyst and Company, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I have links to Cash App and PayPal down below, as well as Patreon. Patreon, where you can supply monthly support for as low as $5 a month. And Tee Public, where you can buy images of my work, including Queen, printed on t-shirts, hoodies for the wintertime, um, mugs, coffee mugs, uh, tote bags, all kinds of things, phone cases. Anyway, Tee Public, all the links are down below, as well as, the, as well as contact information for Jay at Blue Egg Gallery, uh, uh, Andrew and Mark at Chasing Galleries, and my friend Raphael Coelho at Artfront Galleries up in New Jersey. And they can supply pricing and info for you on Queen or any other work you've seen. All right, I'm Beck Lane. Happy New Year. Happy 2023. <sighs> I need a haircut. Carrie, my friend, I hope you are well. I haven't heard from you in a very long time. All right, everybody. Ciao. Meow, meow, meow. Boink.